Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, perform a response spectrum analysis in ETAPS software. Uh, the model is already created, and also in a previous tutorial, I have conducted a model analysis. You can check uh, if you uh, don't know how to perform a model analysis. Uh, so now we go to define a response curve. Uh, but before the response curve, we I want to check the uh, giving a lot uh, load patterns. So here is the earthquake load. Uh, I want to check it. Uh, what is the properties of this uh, uh, this uh, giving lateral uh, lateral load or earthquake load? Uh, we need two parameters, two three parameters. Uh, so the first parameter is the ground motion parameters, which is the short period ground motion spectral and also one second spectral acceleration. So these two is uh, we should remember. And the second is uh, the response multiplication factor and the occupancy factor. Uh, the other thing is the side class as well and that's all now okay and I want to go to the define menu and here is called function I want to create a response spectrum we can create this response spectrum uh, using code uh, also we can get from an existing earthquake as well as we can create uh, on Excel sheet and we can input here. Now I use AC 17, 710 and I use called add a new function. I call it response. Response. Now in the response, in the short period, which is previously in the lateral uh, load giving is this one, but it's in this specific project for your own project, you should get this from the map hazard or earthquake hazard map uh, or using some tool to detect this data from the specific location. So the long period is this one and the side class is B. So as a parameter, automatically will calculate it based on these two parameters. So now just it's in linear x, y. I'm going to OK, considering a 5% damping. In case if you want to reduce and increase the damping, you have a right to do it. OK, now we define the response spectrum. And here is, go to the load cases. In the load case, first we should have a model. The model case is all it defined in previous uh, tutorial. So we use icon mode and we apply 90% uh, mass participation target and this is the giving things. So the next I want to go to add a new case. In the new case here I want call RS. This is uh, here from here we select response. In the response uh, spectrum analysis we have some combination in the first combination uh, should be 100% of X 100% Y and 30% the vertical earthquake effects the mass sources previous uh, source which we already defined 100% of the date load and 25% of the life now here, when I select here, instead of uh, here, I should keep in the loop type acceleration because uh, it is a, a, as a dynamic. We want to apply in the U1, direction 1. Here is in a function, we should select that function. RES. Let me check that. Is it that RES? We define RES. 
sorry I should here select is OES and this everything is OK and OK now it's OES I go to part to define load case here add a new case call OES uh, here I can uh, use OREX first uh, I want to consider uh, one uh, direction first and also again I can use combine now here is called response spectrum in the U1 the function is OREX here is the uh, scale factor the scale factor is actually uh, G times uh, G times actually divided by uh, by the R which is uh, the multiplication factor uh, so now here this is the G and now I go to G times 1 the which is uh, the important factor occupancy important factor divided by 8 this is my giving unit is millimeter so in case if you use meter then you should give 9.8 now it's okay now you can consider the model load case from the model the model combination you have three four choice uh, uh, use so I can use SRS uh, and also again the damping is 0.5 percent uh, here you also can add some eccentricity because my model is uh, a, little, a little irregular so I can add some uh, eccentricity for diaphragm but I will ignore this in this analysis just okay so this is the first one and the second one just uh, I can take this one and instead of using copy add a copy of this and here I can ask that's why in the, this part I used this one okay and the last one uh, so the the, uh, the um, re x re y is okay. Then I can add a combination of these three. Let's go to re uh, copy this one. Now I can say uh, re x plus uh, re y plus uh, uh, zero point three. Or is it? using response spectrum and here I'm going to three one two and this is three and using response spectrum and this is the response spectrum and here is the uh, again divided by eight divided by 8 divided by 8 uh, sorry this is divided by 8 and again times 0 0.30 so this is less than so this is 100% in x y direction and 30% in the z direction the Model combination method is SRS. Okay, now we have this to 100x, 100y, and again a combination. Okay, I can go to the analysis, set load case to run. So just I want to run uh, this one, no, not this one, this one, this one, this one, and model analysis. Run. Just it take uh, a while to uh, perform the analysis and then we can check the result now the analysis completed 
and we can see 1.22 in that time period and we want to check the response curve display in the display uh, he is called uh, uh, okay we can go to the display uh, here and we go to the deform shape and we can see here is a case and we have one and y and this in that side y direction there is and this is the combination of in a in three direction okay now here is just as example uh, uh, this is the uh, UX is uh, 43 millimeter, UI is 32, and UZ is 2. If I go back, so remember this number. Okay, just remember the uh, UX is a uh, 43, and now we want to see the X. Again, this point 43 uh, apply. And now it's uh, 38 millimeter so when uh, it uh, the earthquake applies simultaneously and or independently each direction so that totally there is some difference so about uh, uh, five or six millimeter it's difference so because the earthquake not just affect in one direction but the entire structure now you can see in the uzs one in the previous in the here Here is 2.2 millimeter, so it's about 100 percent difference. Uh, now, uh, one thing um, in case uh, is it uh, our uh, work is correct or not? So we can go to uh, go to the display, uh, go to the display, and from here we can get the REX or ORI Y and then we can compare the shear story the story shear so this is the story shear uh, which is uh, as you can see it's a very large uh, kilonewton it's Newton uh, in case if I go to change uh, it's about uh, 6500 kilonewton so the, the another case when I go to back in the if I uncheck my model if I go to uh, define and not define go to the analysis uh, in this time I want to uh, run the these lateral methods so equal in lateral methods so then I will compare the uh, giving shear force base shear with this response vector to see how it affect how it's uh, matching or not and now it's again finished now what thing one uh, more thing we want to see is go to the display and here in the first earthquake we have step one is actually in the X so we can uh, go to see here the maximum story share maximum story share here and it is about 8000 8300 8331 but in case if i go to calculate <coughs> if i calculate this one uh, this is uh, 8,000, uh, 8,331 uh, and go to the REX and REX is about uh, 6,400 so now I can go to uh, 6,000 uh, 
uh, times by 100 by 100 and divided by uh, by this one 8331 uh, 8331 so now this is uh, 75 77 percent so the from 75 percent is okay uh, so now we will uh, do scaling and just in case we want to increase this by uh, 0.1.3% 1.25 in the calculator so it we can uh, uh, times by 1, uh, 2, uh, 3 so how we can do in this one we can go to back to the uh, etabs and go to here unlock it go to unlock the model and we go to define and here uh, load case in the load case and just uh, I want to change the RX and modify and here I want to times by times 1.23 now it's okay and okay and I want to rerun it now the analysis again completed we want to check that point that uh, base shear force again so we go to the displays and display option and we to uh, using shear story and uh, we want to go to select OX so if it's 8000 uh, 8000 331 so but uh, it's almost reached to that uh, amounts it's now 8000 so you can extend it or times uh, make a scale to 1.3 1.4 so until you reach to 8300 so that times under person your uh, response spectrum analysis is uh, fit with equivalent lateral uh, load analysis uh, so uh, this is the end of tutorial if you have any question please put in the comment and i will find time to answer uh, see you next time